Today on Newcastle Fans TV we welcome a living legend, a Georgian international who scored the goal that took Newcastle through to their first ever Champions League campaign. The man who scored the dramatic goal in Zagreb that night, the Geordie Georgian to Muri Ketspire. Why did you pick Newcastle and were you close to going anywhere else at that time? Because I know there was a, a lot of interest, wasn't there? Yeah, I have also the opportunities to uh, stay in Greece. You know, I spoke with a few teams there, but I have some, uh, some uh, discussions with the, the teams also from Germany. But uh, since I heard that uh, the Newcastle was interesting about me, I said, this is the... This is the the, the the country, this is the championship that I wanted to play, you know, because uh, the English Premier League is one of the best in the world. So this was a great opportunity for me. And plus also that Newcastle, uh, the, the club who was challenging for the championship that time, you know, and uh, uh, also the uh, team who was also was trying to play for the, the Champions League quali qualification. I had the opportunity to play also the team who has high... Uh, targets, but also play, have a chance to play the Champions League. We, 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 it was a very easy decision that I had the, all these years that I have in my life as a football player. Was it was it sort of scary? I mean, because like I've spoken about on Newcastle Fans TV a lot of the times how players coming from different countries coming into Newcastle and coming into England in the Premier League, how sometimes people are quick to judge players. They give them a couple of games and then all of a sudden they've decided whether they're good, great or indifferent. Was it a, a big step and a big culture change, you know, coming from like where you were before through to when like Newcastle and the Premier League? To change the country was not uh, not first time for me because I went from Georgia to Cyprus after mm. from Cyprus to Greece. So to change the country was a normal uh, thing for me to do. Uh, of course, you know what is a big step, you know, from the Cyprus Championship after Greek Championship. To go into the Premier League, where is the all the best players of the in the, in the world? You know, they're playing in that league. So was it? It wasn't easy. Sometimes I was thinking, I'm ready. I'm uh, good enough for this league or not? But the, because uh, when I went to Newcastle, the things that went very well for me. You know, from the beginning. You know, we start very well. We qualify in the Champions League. I scored the goal. I I also was playing most of the time, and I was happy. And uh, it was my face. Yeah, like it was a. It was really great time for me, you know. I, I didn't, I didn't feel this pressure that this is the change in country and changing the the league and the new players, the the, the highest the, the 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 league. But you know what? Uh, I, I was confident in myself that you know I I can do it. You know, also in that level. So and that's why I was not so worried, you know, from the beginning. Here's batting. Aspria, could this be the minute? Gets Maya for Newcastle United! And surely now, what a Champions League place! On comes the substitute, and look at the Zagreb players, it's all over for them. Newcastle are through to the Champions League for the first time in their history, and it's the super sub, Timor Kitzmaier, who has done it. Game. I didn't start the game, I went to the game at the extra time, and I get the great pass from the. Faustino Asprilia and I score and we qualify in the Champions League. The first time is is unbelievable. This is what I was hoping before I signed also for Newcastle that I said that he had the chance to play for the Champions League and finally we we we, I, we qualify for the Champions League. But also the important that I scored the second yes. important goal in in Zagreb because we play against a very very good team and. Uh, and uh, with the fair. great players that they have in the team, and no, we have a very, very difficult time in 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 Zagreb. So I'm I'm happy that we score. I scored the goal, and we qualify in the Champions League, and everybody was happy. Because we were lucky that day, because obviously Aspria with his old elbow could have easily got sent off on that game. Uh, yeah. And I had everything crossed, everything crossed. And I remember when you scored that goal, like I said, everything. I was watching it at home. Everything got through all over. I had I had a dog, a Labrador at the time. I picked the dog mm -hmm. up. I was hugging the dog. Uh, and the, the scenes uh, back here as a young man growing up watching Newcastle. And Only Newcastle. football can give the 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 the, the 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 people 
so much joy. You know, it's 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 something that you know it's really uh, it's unbelievable. Football is uh, is something that everybody play, everybody loves to watch it, and also the difficult is that everybody knows better than anybody else. You know, <laughs> this is also getting uh, very difficult. <laughs> all, all I remember, and like even like last night, I was going back. I was watching the goal. I must have watched that particular goal back in Zagreb um, hundreds of times with the commentary still up, and still that exact same feeling. I can bottle it and 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 feel it and taste it. And to see the Zagreb players sat down and they knew that that was it. They were praying for penalties. I was I was in the in the headlines every newspaper in England <laughs> that I remember also. That. <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely... For the next day. Uh, Kenny Douglas who gave me the biggest opportunity of my life as a, as a football player. You know what? I never forget that, OK? Maybe we have some differences that I was expecting more to play and I was not playing the more. But still, this is the man that who gave me the biggest opportunity of my life to play in, the, in that level, in the Premier League level. So it was a yeah. great uh, opportunity for me. You know, the best player in my country, playing for the national team, and uh, but 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 still, you know what? It was it, it was um, really difficult for the clubs like the Premier League because that time was not that you know can bring ten or fifteen or twenty uh, foreigners. Uh, that time, that time, non-European players, I think they have opportunities to have a uh, two or three players. Now, now yeah. it's not not like this, you know, and also the foreigners, not many foreigners. You know what? And uh, this also, uh, uh, how, how, how to say, I don't know how to say it, you know, to, uh, to show how good I was, good enough I was just yeah. to play in such a big club like uh, Newcastle United at that time when, you, when we were challenging for the championship and playing for the Champions League. You know, it was that, that for that reason, I just want to thank the people, you know, as also Kenya, but also the other people in the, in the club to trust me and uh, to give me opportunity to play for the Newcastle United. Yeah. Um, with regards, obviously, to the lads and the players when you joined them, do you still stay in touch with any of your ex-teammates uh, from Newcastle? And who did you socialise with whilst at the club? Did you find there was certain, you know, we talked today about cliques and that sort of thing, don't we, in, in football teams? But was there certain, like, friendship groups and stuff that you had that back then that really helped you settle into Newcastle? I would not gonna say that we are talking every day, but you know sometimes I'm talking with uh, with Solano, with the business because uh, he's is closed here in Greece in his uh, living. But we we we, be, we when we play there we've been close with the families. We are still with the families, so we say I was at a good uh, um, connection also because he was coming with his friends also in Cyprus and we was meeting. Uh, we will meeting them in, in Cyprus. So I would not gonna say that I'm in touch with them every day, but uh, sometimes we are talking, we're just asking what is the news and what we are doing. It was a fantastic team. I mean, I don't think Kenny gets a lot of uh, credit, to be fair. I mean, he, like like she herself, Dabby's ass, I never felt got the credit that he deserved, but he was such a threat and defensively as well, great. And the goals he chipped in with was fantastic. Solano, when we you know signed him as well, Wicked delivery of a ball, unbelievable. I've not seen anybody, maybe David Beckham, but with the delivery that he had, uh, and yeah, he, he, has, uh, he was ta ta uh, technically he was it was fantastic, uh, the Solano. But it, it, you see that time, you know what? Almost I don't know 20, 25 players that we've been in the in Newcastle. All the players been the, the national team players. You know what? Play for England, play for Georgia, or play for Belgium. Uh, Peru, Greece, or I don't know, from uh, a lot of uh, great players that we had in, in, in the team. Also, the, the, the managers that are uh, working with, uh, with Newcastle. So, it's, it's really... I am mean, I'm, I'm really feel sometimes disappointing that, you know what, in, in our times, Newcastle, when, when I'm... Playing there and we're watching the, the, the time now, now the, the times that now the Newcastle had, you know what? It, it's really uh, disappointing that uh, uh, things are uh, not going well. Talking about great goals, you know which one I'm going to go to next, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know. I know. 
Oh, I see that. I, I thought that you're gonna start with that, you know. But... <laughs> it's it. I, I remember it well. It was a chilly January day at St James's. Uh, yeah, against Bolton. And, uh, important, against Bolton. important game. And we <laughs> had some difficult times that time. People forget it. Obviously, uh, Brannigan, their keeper, dropped the ball, and you obviously you famously smashed the ball into the back of the Gallagher. Mm-hmm. And then decided to go on a bit of a, uh, of a strip tease when Al- Alessandro Pistoni came over to you. Uh, yeah, nobody really talks about I, that. I, I wanted to show them my body, you know. And, <laughs> and speed I you, am. Were, you were getting people's uh, temperatures up, I think, in the Gallagher. But yeah, nobody talks about the quality of that goal. And it was a good goal und- under pressure. And it was a hugely important one because of obviously the position that we were in, in, in you know, in the season. Um, yeah. Do you still get asked about it? Uh, what were you thinking about? And what was Pistoni saying to you as well? Yeah, Pistoni <laughs> tried to calm me down, but I was so... I was so... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Happy or disappointing or whatever. <laughs> you know, it was a, it's a wrong time to score a goal. You know, I, 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 never, I never thought that, you know, that, that it's... Any time is wrong to score the goal, but for me that time was scoring the goal is the wrong time, you know, because because I was so disappointed that I was not getting the the chances to play, you know, what and yeah. I had this chance and I scored a goal and I tried to express uh, in that way my celebration. Uh, to be honest, it was not the best. Uh, Thing to do, you know. I was yeah, apologize I to, I to the this. players and uh, to the staff around everyone, and after the game, you know. But, but you know what? We are human beings. You know, sometimes we are uh, doing some things that we are not proud. But it's not about proud or not. It's just it was uh, like I said before. It was wrong time to score the goal, and because I was so disappointing, I was not playing. I was not playing. I was not getting the chances that I was deserved. This is what I was thinking. Maybe from from the other side, they have other op- opinion. But you know what? This is what I was thinking. So that's why. Who, who got your shirt back? <laughs> I don't know. Alan, Alan, to, Alan, Alan asked the the fans, and he he gave me to the to wear it uh, until we finish the game. So for the next game, I scored again, and nobody was coming close to me. <laughs> <laughs> what I scored again. I lead next game. <laughs> And yeah. I see I was running alone. Nobody's trying to get close to me. <laughs> oh, crazy scenes, crazy times. Uh, what did Kenny say after the game? Yeah, did you have a, a laugh and a joke about it? Or, uh, but I, I'm, I we're not gonna say that it was <laughs> laughing and joking that after the game. But of uh, the thing is that you know we didn't uh, go far from that. You know, we just. Uh, yeah, uh, we didn't say many things. I just, you know, we we, we had uh, after after this game we play against uh, uh, Liverpool, and we just talked before the game in the, in the changing room. I said, you know what, this was the um, not the not the best reaction from me. I was just sorry what happened, and we just continue. This this is was yeah. the old story, you know. We didn't See, we didn't lot, continue. A lot of people. Um... Didn't have that same connection with Kenny Dalglish. The fans didn't have that same sort of connection with Kenny that we did with Kevin Keegan previously. Um, but from everything that I've heard from previous players, he seems like he, he understood it. You know, even if something was to happen, he would understand it. And um, you know, I think that's like, like yeah. But uh, I, I, you know. I, I would say that you know, I, I just want to say it. You know what? He was the. First of all, he was the human, uh, yeah. not just manager. You understand me, you know. Yeah. He has a good connection with the players, you know what? And like, like, like you said, you know what? Didn't happen after the game that you know what somebody has get to punish or whatever. We just, we just kill it, you know what? As a as a team, as a one group of the uh, the, uh, the 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 players and uh, staff with everyone, you know what? Not just to have a to continue just uh, talking about it all the time, you know what? And uh, with that, uh, also as a as a human being, but also as a manager, he was he's been really great. You know, all this the time that he's worked with uh, Newcastle and with the uh, with the uh, with Liverpool, of course, when he's playing as a football player, but also as a, as a manager. And uh, yeah. 
And, and, and it was good that we just didn't uh, continue just to um, uh, creating the problems. We just said some things that we have to say and we just uh, let it go, you know. That, that's a, a, a really impressive because, again, you see managers more in the modern day, I think, who would have probably handled that maybe in a different way. But I think Kenny being Kenny, just treat men like men, you know. Um, but you know what? Now, now it's more difficult to manage the the players that in our time. You know what? Because yeah. that time, not much, too much money was involved in the game. You know what? Who's your personal favorite? Is a game or moment that stands out to you from your time at Newcastle? Of course, as like we said, like when I arrived to Newcastle United, and but of course the first is the first best moment is when I score goal against. Uh, uh, Dinamo Zagreb that time and we qualified in the Champions League and uh, and uh, this is this is for me the, the the best time and also the best time when I signed the the new contract with the uh, Newcastle after two years you know with the when the the yeah. um, Ruud was the, in, in the club they offered me a new contract for another three years and uh, I signed a new contract not because I signed new contract. Because I signed with the team that I wanted to continue, understand me. We play against Derby County, we, we, we win a game 4-3. I scored the goal and, and uh, I had some um, conf- conversation with the referees. He said, I, I, I like you very much because when every time I see you, you have a smile in your face, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I remember, I, I never forget that, you know, what? because yeah. I never had, to be honest, not in England, but all other countries that I, I was playing football or I was working as a coach, was good with the referees. But the, the, this, I, will, I, I always said, you know, I, I wish everywhere in, 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 in football, uh, when I was also the football player, or I'm now, now working as a coach, you know what, yeah. to have the referees like referees they have in, in England, you know what, because they, know, they, they have their own, uh, how to say, uh, the way to referee, you know what? And yeah. I, I don't think now when they are trying to show where, where, you know what? This uh, with the with the yeah. decisions that have some uh, computer has to make the decision. Uh, this yeah. is not shooting yeah. shooting in Premier League. Maybe for other countries is okay, but for in, in Premier League they don't need the. Uh, the, the some uh, computers to make the decision because they are dealing with this very well. You know what? Because I've been there for three years, and I I never ask to be honest. You know what? Who's who's the referee? Because I never I, because this is. The, but all other countries for me is very important. Who's the referee? Right. I, I have yeah. to know who's the referee. You understand me? This is also yeah. psychologically very difficult <laughs> to deal. You understand? Uh, in England, I wish all the countries to referee like they are refereeing in the Premier League. Yeah, because they are the best. Uh, uh, obviously, the cup finals as well must must have been two um, things that stuck in your mind as well. Obviously, you played in the cup finals back uh, for us uh, where we couldn't see I, so I, close. I never and I, I never forget. Of course, the the, the, the fans uh, is unbelievable. You know, to the hurry then, but Newcastle allowed in the extra time on the ball. Petit's pass and it's over Mars. He's passed Pistone and Arsenal have taken the lead. Paul Durkin, making sure that Rob Lee's got the required room. Davies a softy, top of the crossbar. Still only the one goal in it, batting. Oh, Keown, the ball got stuck under his foot. Shearer, off the post. Head up, Parler. There's no flag, and it's a Nalka. No catching him, maybe no catching Arsenal now. Such a fantastic support around the, in the in the stadium. I, I wanted to play, you know what? It was yeah. not for me that because I was getting the money, and uh, I, I, I want just to see that I don't care, you know what? This is one of the reasons that I had to leave the leave the Newcastle United. I, have, I still have it two years, but because I was seeing this situations going on around the stadium, you know, all the, uh, time, the game is start and the stadium is full and others play, I'm just sitting, was, make me, was making me, me crazy. And also the, 
we went twice in the cup final. We both we lost the both games, and when we come back to Newcastle, it was unbelievable, man. Nicole, good play by him. Here's Sheringham. That was neatly dark too, and it scores. Starting it on to Sheringham. Oh, what an entrance from Teddy Sheringham! Teddy's answer is quick too. His defensive method. Not the best appearances though. Put his teammates in trouble. That's Sheringham. The score. and it's kicked a second goal for United. I don't know how many tens of thousands of people are just following us from the aeroport to the city center. You know what there is? People are waiting for us. It was unbelievable. You, know, you don't see these kind of things in other countries. You know what? I remember we win the twice in the cup in Greece, but because we lost the championship, I said, oh, who cares about the cup? We don't. Know. We don't need the cup. You understand me? And I was, I was saying to my, uh, to myself, you know what? I just we just win the one cup in in the, in the Premier League, and I I would say it would be the best uh, thing 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 for me. It's it's unbelievable, you know. It's, we would take it's anything to for me. for for the club, but also especially for the fans because they they've been great to be honest. You know, they they were I mean, supporting them. I'm I'm 40 this year. I'm just letting people in on my age here. I'm 40 this year, and I've never actually seen Newcastle win a trophy in my, in my life. I mean, <laughs> back as a kid, I never thought I'd be saying that. A few times you've been close, you know. Being close, I was down there. I, I was down at Wembley. I was outside. I was back up Newcastle for when you all came back. I was part of that crowd. Um, and don't get me wrong, I mean, this, the memories and, and stuff that I've got for watching Newcastle. I, 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 I can't but, imagine, you know what, if Newcastle win the trophy, what's going to happen in Newcastle, you know what? It's, it's, oh, that, that's it why I'm saying, you know, I wish, I wish many championships, many cups, many this, but I said just one trophy for Newcastle United. It, gonna, it would be, for me, something unbelievable, you know what? Uh, okay, we've been unlucky, to be honest, okay? Because first time we play against Arsenal, best team in Arsenal, they win the championship, also the cup. The second, the, 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 the final against Manchester United, that was they, the win one everything. The win. They, they win everything, so <laughs> we've yeah. been unlucky. We had the third time we had a chance, but we lost the semi-final because third time if we went to the final, we had the we had to play against Aston Villa. I think I don't know. I don't. Uh, it was good. I, I must admit, against Manchester United, when we started that game, I thought our name was on the cup because obviously they had the Champions League to think about, and I thought they'll take the eye off this game, the bound out, uh, and then just just two moments. Um, but again, it, it I feel sorry for this generation because I've got these memories. Close calls, nearly, you know, nearly achieving stuff. But the current, the Ashley generation doesn't have that. So much, uh, you know, for the interview, it means a lot. Well, I know you're a busy person. Um, and I just want to say thank you for all of the Nobody the memories. can say now that he's a busy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nobody is busy I'm now. always busy. <laughs> <laughs> you take care, Tamari. Thanks oh, ever okay, so much. Take care, thank you. Uh,